What do we got? We have two cocktails. I see that. From our friends at Boardroom Spirits. Now these are ready-made cocktails. Yes, they are ready so to go. Cocktail for us. And they come in at 21%? Yep. 21%. 21% for both of them, right? So we got the vanilla pertini, and the other one is the blueberry blush. Very nice. What do you want to do first? We'll do the, the vanilla pertini I'd say first. the vanilla one's probably... Yeah, it's probably a little more chill. You read a little bit? I'll read a little bit. You can do the pour. I'll try. You got it? I'll try. Don't hurt yourself. I might, I might spray yourself. something. Don't spray yourself. All right, vanilla pertini. So if you buy a 750 of this at 21%, it is 750 milliliters, and it costs $38. It is gluten-free, makes up to seven cocktails. Our premium vodka with a house-made spiced pear syrup flavored with real Madagascar vanilla beans and fresh lemon juice. Great as a spritz, shaken, or on the rocks. So since I didn't have anything to spritz it with, and I really didn't feel like shaking it, we're going to go on the rocks. I'm fun with the rocks. Okay, let's do it. Like the rocks in our head, right? Cheers. Cheers. It's very dark in color. It looks, it has like a, like a vanilla syrup look to it. You got anything on the nose? Not really. No, no. me neither. Certainly not vanilla. I was no. expecting to get a little vanilla. Maybe we'll get more on the taste. All right, go ahead. Lots and lots of pear on that one. A little vanilla up front and then all pear afterwards. That yeah, is, okay. uh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't really get the vanilla. I just if get mostly pear. If you're a fan of pear, that's something you'd like. Mm. You like a little bit of fruit flavor with what you're drinking? That's nice. pretty easy drinking. I'm starting to get vanilla now. It's starting to come in on the back end. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a lot of there's a lot of tartness to it, so that that has to be the lemon juice, right? Uh, I would assume so. Now we've had uh, a number of canned cocktails, ready to mix cocktails. We had those. Mm -hmm. um, for lack of a better word, those little grenade things where you uh, twist the them off and you shake them off and drink those them. Those things were great. Um, this, I think, put this right out there with them. This no, is pretty, pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I, I think I like the drink some of this stuff a little better, but that's a much higher price point too, though. So that's a and I, I think there's a little higher ABV with them too. Yeah, that's a higher. That's a different animal. But this is this that, that's nice. That's nice. I gotta go back and try. You know, I kind of like the size of these. I would like to see them send this out as a sample pack. Mm. Where maybe you buy, you know, six, eight, ten, whatever of all their stuff, get to try them all, so what you want to have. Yeah. Or be able to order it to go and have it sent to the house for like, I want four of these, four of these, four of these, something like that. It, is, sh party, it is shockingly tart. Yeah. Well, tart. I think they got to throw something on the back end to keep it from being too sweet or syrupy. Right. So. But it's not too sweet at all. Like, I get right, no right, sugar. Right. I get mostly tartness. I get tart and vanilla. I'm sorry, I get tart and pear. And then yeah. just a little hint of vanilla. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not bad. That's pretty good. Let's try the other one real quick. I like that. Do it up. Let's I like do that. blueberry blush. I like that. So let's see. Blueberry blush. It's probably better shaken or maybe with the spritz, but I just didn't have this stuff on hand. So, But uh, it's nice to taste these things like when they're on. What is this? The blueberry blush? The blueberry brush. Blueberry blush or brush? Blush. 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 Like I'm know. blushing. 21% ABV, 750 again. Gluten-free, makes up to seven. Citrus-infused vodka and house-made syrup. Bursting with blueberries with fresh lemon juice and a hint of a cardamom. Cheers. Cheers. Again, nothing, not much on the nose. Maybe a little bit of the juice. Maybe just a little bit. Not much on the nose. Just, I think it's because of the ice, too. Mm -hmm. The ice isn't helping. Again, similar to the pear, there's a good bit of sweetness, but it's not cloyingly sweet. No, it's not. And they tamp it down with maybe throwing the garment in at the end or some yeah you can get something like, else so it's not just sweet it's it's a nice cocktail well also you know the blueberries tend to be can be tart yeah so I think the cardamom just kind of cuts that yeah. gives it a little bit of balance it's nice you know that's not bad it's, it's nice pretty good and it's a good texture it's not like dripping mm. syrupy sweetness it's not like a oily well, it's, kind of, it's nice again if you enjoy a fruit cocktail. Right. If you're not a fruity drinker, this might not be something you want. I, I can see this being really good as a spritz, though. Like, you know, as like a highball kind of thing. Maybe you throw a couple little blueberries oh, yeah. in there. Yeah. That would be kind of nice, just as a nice, refreshing kind of drink. And you could probably stretch it, too, so you're not getting, like, schnockered, you know, sucking these things down like we do. That's you know nice. what I'm saying? I like them both. <laughs> Mortimer. Don't I know. I, uh, I like them both. I think they're, they're not bad. They're not bad at all. I like them both. They sent two, but they have... 10, 12. They've got a bunch. They've you know, got a, they've got a good bit of stuff so, here. So that's nice. Let me see what we got here. Let me go back to the flavors. Did I read the flavors before? Okay, so they do a cranberry mule. They do a blackberry mojito. The blueberry blush. 
extra dirty martini, orange pineapple vodka, hibiscus lemon drop, pomegranate cosmo, passion fruit punch, vanilla pertini, chocolate hazelnut espresso martini. They also do an engineer, uh, the engineer old fashioned, and, and I think that's it. Now, $38 for a bottle? For all of them? Uh, yeah, the only one that's a little more money was the chocolate hazelnut espresso martini. That was 42. 42. Now you get seven cocktails out of the bottle? Yeah. So you're looking five, six bucks a cocktail? Right. That's it's not, not bad. That's not no, too bad. bad. And you're going to pay $14 a cocktail going somewhere else. Right. right. I don't think they're as well crafted as this. No, it's good. Um, I also like there's no ingredients involved. Just mm. have some ice. Right. You're good. Yeah. You know, you're ready to go. That's what I like. Now, would you get a whole bottle if you were having a party? Yeah, why not? Would you get two bottles if they're like two different kinds of Probably. drinks? Or, you yeah, know, you can't just do one. A little something for everybody? Yeah, you gotta mix it up a little bit. That's nice. These were pretty good though. I like these. They're pretty good. Actually, you know what? The blueberry one's getting better because now I'm starting to get like a, almost like a blueberry jam yeah. kind of flavor. You know, it's not overly sweet, but you yeah. get that nice rich fruitiness to it. Now, I'd also like to see if they did a, uh, like a Moscow Mule or... Well, like that. That'd be nice if they did yeah. one of those. Well, they did the Moscow Mule with a can cocktail. Yeah. Which we tried. Well, I mean, part of this. Oh, too. like the, a the mixer ready, kind the ready of thing? Mixed. The ready they made. Did some, they did a cranberry the ready mule. made. Yeah. And they did a, yeah, they, they did a cranberry, they did a cranberry mule. mule. Yeah. So. And I, I'd love to try the old fashioned because I'm because, old. Right. And not really in fashion, but you know what? Sure you are. <laughs> sure what? you are. What? So, all right. Well, thank you to Boardroom Spirits and our friends at Food Shelter and Public Relations for sending these along. They were pretty yummy. You know, I go solid like a, like a B plus. Yeah, B plus. On yeah. these, I like them. You know, I, like I think them. I need to like try them again, maybe like in different in different forms. Try the try the spritz. I, I'd also like they... to see the sample pack to see if you get a little bit of everything and try that's a, them all. That's a pretty good idea because I know Drinksmiths does that, and I think one of the other ones right. does that as well, where you can just order them all and yeah, and uh, they'll, they'll send them right but, to the house. But it'd be nice to get like six of these, right? For yeah, like what forty bucks maybe. Yeah, yeah. you know that one. Roll out some, you know. Six eight bucks a piece and roll them out because yeah. a hundred. If these are a hundred, that's what two cocktails. So right, you know, tamp it down and give us a price. Yeah, it's I nice. got you. So all right, sir. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.